we're actually a super blended family. We're blended and we together. When I married him, I was a single mom with teenagers. I have Nikki, who's now 30, and Mary. I have my, my first grandson with her. I have Miguel, who's in Amsterdam, and then Red. Then I married him, and then we have another, another son. Rohan, who's seven. And then I I wanted to adopt even before we got married. Like, I think it was really God who planted that, that seed in my heart. It seemed impossible. I was a single mom. I didn't have a <laughs> teenagers. But I knew, I knew I have a child out there. I would always journal and just say, Lord, if by now. When we got married, it was the whole adjustment to marriage and then having a son. I had to wait for her text to be open adoption as well. From the get go, when we got married, we wanted to get pregnant. Ah, yeah. Yeah. But that took even two years when you became five. I wanted a child, she's talking about it. what were our options. So the first was IVF. We were about to start it, but you know, it's like I wasn't at peace with it because I knew I really want to adopt. For me, adoption wasn't the last option. I knew it was for me from the beginning. We didn't want Rohan to grow up. The age gap was huge between him and Red. 17 years, so we didn't want him to be the only child. A welcome addition. What we, need. we were praying that we wanted her to come to Christmas time. December 28, we brought her home. Getting the baby was fast. The paperwork takes a while. The important thing is she's with you. At least I know that you know, she's with me. She's growing up with me. I don't want to sugarcoat. Adopting a toddler is quite different from what, what you would expect if you adopt a baby. It's like you're getting to know each other. We were adjusting to each other's personalities, where her fears are coming from, bakit sobra yung reaction niya to something. It's a different way of disciplining and then something that we're still going through. When we got her, she wasn't speaking at all. She was one year, ten months. So the first time that she said, Mama, it's like, it's not like, oh, she learned the words. You have that feeling that she says it, because she knows it, she knows when she says it, she, she gets mama. I was intentional. Because I was really super clingy with my friends. Kuya si Rose. That was the friend the whole time. Super Kuya Chan. Part of it was really talking to him, briefing him already. Oh, you're going to be a Kuya, talking about it, had stories prepared. Uh -oh. The older kids, because they're more critical. Him. They're more critical with us. They're more nurturing. They're more ate. They're more kuya. And you even ask them like stupid questions, like, "Are you sure? You know that you know if, if you get inheritance, yes. shit better." But and I told like, them, guys, assuming that we'll have money by then. There's nothing to inherit anyway, so that's okay. <laughs> Me being the guy coming into their lives, I really appreciate how Glenn brought them up. They're not separated. If you ask them, they're five. There's you, no there's no, brother, oh, there's no yeah, adopted sister. It's not like brothers. When you say, how many siblings? I have five. And for some reason, she even bonded with them. She even understands that they're siblings. She sees them every Sunday only. Yeah. Or Kuya Miguel just on video. But I don't know, for some reason, they want them. So I have fit. It's, exactly. it's a weird feeling that we feel like we've had her forever. Yeah. But yeah, then, yeah. for some reason, we can't remember how she was born. It feels like that. Even her first, uh, it's just you know, a, month yeah. with us. Oh, I know this is really our family. But what was I it like I before? I guess it's like yeah. Amisha. We couldn't remember. I could not imagine a day without her. I've been telling my wife over and over again. I really can. Tell my wife about it. Can't imagine. Us having one. Adoption shouldn't be the last option. It's not for families who can't have kids. I mean, look at us. We've already had four when we had 
Ayla, di ba? So, it's not for that. It doesn't make you complete. People tend to ask you, you're going to adopt, why? You can't have your own kids anymore. Oh. No, it's not the last option. This is one way of having a child. This is one way of God giving you a child. The adopted child and your biological child. It doesn't matter. They're the same. Pareho lang eh. Even I am amazed that I feel the same way for, for all of them. For all the times I felt that I was a father to this little girl. I'm blessed more. I'm really blessed more having her in my life than not having her.